I was taking the seat pan off of my uh, Deer 425 here. This will also work for a 445 and a 455 John Deere. And I was getting conflicting information about how to remove the rear seat pan and the floor pan. Uh, so there, there are two different parts. The You can take them both off at once, I've read. I did not do it that way because I had some frozen bolts. But first you have to remove the side panels from the engine, and that'll allow your floor pan, which is right here, to rise up. And you don't have to worry about your deck height adjuster because the knob just slips right on top of that. You do have to take off your uh, diff lock, and you do have to take off the foot pedal, the go pedal. Now I couldn't figure out how to get the floor pan off, and I decided I figured out I had to take the side panels off, so that's why I had removed the uh, foot pedal arm here, which came off pretty easy. Um, but what you have to do to take this off is first disconnect your lights. Those stay on the tractor. And then disconnect your seat thing, which is on the back of the seat, and you just feed that through the hole. And then there's two bolts in the back, one here and here, which correspond with bolts right there and right there. And then on the bottom of the seat pan, there are bolts that go in here, which are right here. There's one there and another one here. In my case, they were, was it those? No, I think it was further back. Yeah, this one. In my case, the carriage bolts are rusted enough to just free spin, so I had to take the floor off to get to those. And to do that, there are two bolts here at the end of the floor on either side. You have to take those off, and those feed into the seat pan right there. And then you can just lift it off. You can leave the uh, the tank cap on. It fits right over top of that. And that's it. There's nothing else to it. Um, I needed to take it off to get to this fitting here because... The compression, well it's not compression, it's an O-ring fitting. The line nut here is spinning with the fitting in the valve body, so I need to get wrenches on here, which was a lot easier to do without the floor pan and these lines. And I have to get this line off because I have to uh, fix the, the flare on the other end of it, which goes to the steering pump.